Hi, I'm Disability Lawyer David Brannon. In this video, I'm going to answer the question, can you claim legal fees as a tax deduction if you've had to pay them in order to win long-term disability benefits? Now, if you like this video, hit, our, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and leave us your comments if you have questions, especially around this topic, which is a tricky one. So we represent a lot of people in long-term disability claims. And of course, when people hire us, they have to pay legal fees. Now, a question that often comes up is, can I claim the cost of the legal fees as a tax deduction? So this is a complicated question with a complex answer, and I am not a tax expert. So take this all with a grain of salt, and with your own situation, you will need to get specific advice. So with that out of the way, let's look at some of the general things you can know here. Number one, there is an ability under the tax act to the income tax act to claim legal fees that are incurred to obtain income now it's been long accepted that this is acceptable to do when you're trying to get say wages from work or things like that now a few years back there have been court cases that have taken that and sort of brought disability into it as well so in specific situations where you have a long-term disability plan that is tied to your work and you are incurring legal fees to get payment of disability benefits that would have been paid to you on a periodic basis. Like they would have been paid every week, every two weeks, every month, something like that. So if it's to do with your employment and you're getting, uh, you're getting a right to these past benefits to be paid out, usually as a lump sum, these are situations where courts have allowed people to claim legal fees that were paid to get the right to those benefits. The benefits have to be taxable. So you have to have paid taxes on those benefits in order to claim the legal fees as a uh, as a tax write-off so it has to be you're going after a taxable benefit that is very much employment income like right it's tied to your employment it's for periodic past payments and you've had to incur the legal fees to get those it gets more complicated in disability cases where sometimes there are settlements that include a part of the settlement has to do with these past payments of benefits and sometimes there's a payment in the settlement that has to do with future benefits but it's paid out as a lump sum payment for damages. So in those situations, you can't, you, you probably cannot claim the entire legal fee because some of the legal fee is going towards getting these future benefits. And this is an area that is really kind of a gray area. So again, you'd want to really consult with your tax person on this and the lawyer. But generally what we do at Resident Legal is we will give people in the right cases, we give them a certificate or a declaration or an affidavit that sets out exactly the facts and then we allow the tax people or Revenue Canada figure out what type of deduction should be allowed here. The key facts they want to know is one, they need a confirmation that this was a taxable benefit for periodic past payments of income. That's the first thing they want to know. The second thing they want to know is what is the total amount of the entire settlement and what proportion of that was for these past benefits. So you want to make sure that's included. The other thing they want to know is were there any legal cost reimbursements paid? That is often taken into account when figuring out, you know, have you received some reimbursement for your legal fees? So they will take that out uh, of the deduction that you're able to use. So you're, it's important to put that in there as well. They will then look at as a whole is what was the proportion of the settlement that dealt with the periodic payments? Say it's like 58%. Then in that case, you might be able to claim 58% of your legal fees again. This is open to interpretation. I'm not sure that part has been, well, I'm pretty sure that part has not been interpreted by the courts. You might be able to claim the entire legal fee or maybe just a proportionate share of the legal fee. This is something you'll need to talk to your accountant about and deal with Revenue Canada. So that, that's uh, the answer to this, that it is allowed. However, the, the way it's been allowed is through court interpretations of the Tax Act. So keep in mind, court interpretations can always change. And so this is something that you're going to always need to treat on a case-by-case -case basis dealing with the professionals that are involved. And finally, not all long-term disability benefits will qualify for this. So again, make sure you talk with your professionals that you're dealing with.